Hello, my name is Dr. Tom Crow of Precision Strategy, and I would like to share with you some of my thoughts regarding precision agriculture. What is it? Why is everybody talking about precision agriculture? How is it going to affect me? How is it going to affect my organization? What do I need to know? Most importantly, what do I need to do? Precision agriculture is a management concept which recognizes variability within the soil environment and maximizes economic agricultural production while minimizing environmental impact for a specific location. Precision agriculture is all about management. It's about making decisions, better decisions based off of data, site-specific data, product-specific data, and environmental-specific data. It's about the deployment of those decisions, taking action on the decisions that were reached. It is a cycle of events, data, decisions, deployment, back to more data, more decisions, and different deployment. It's all about the three D's, data, decisions, deployment. It is not about the equipment with all of its bells and whistles. It is not about the technology and those pretty colored maps. It is about the plant. It is all about making that plant happy. It's about maximizing the plant's ability to produce food, fiber, or energy. It's about producing revenue for the agricultural producer so that they may be willing to share some of that revenue with us. Those of us who work diligently every day to support them. The plant is the sole source of revenue for agronomic production agriculture. Technology is a great enabler. Technology makes precision agriculture possible. It will continue to advance precision agriculture by making more things possible. But it is not the driver of precision agriculture. Technology is the enabler. The plant is the driver. It's all about making decisions. Precision agriculture is management. It's about making decisions in a different way. It's about change and a willingness to adopt change. Changing your decision making processes. It is utilizing technology to make better decisions regarding the plant and its growth and development. It's about maximizing a plant's production. It's about making plants happy. It's about keeping plants healthy. It's about the plant's ability to produce revenue that can be shared. For precision agriculture to exist, there must be two basic requirements. First, precision agriculture requires variability. Variability must exist. Variability is what precision agriculture will manage. Technology has enabled us to measure, record, and represent this variability so we can manage it. Second, precision agriculture requires specific location. To manage the plant within the soil environment, we have to know where we are. This location needs to be accurate, timely, reliable, and repeatable. This required navigation has been enabled and advanced by technology. There is no precision agriculture without variability and location. Both have been enabled by technology. As with any decision-making process, there must be criteria to base and evaluate the decisions upon. Precision agriculture has two primary criteria. First, 
maximum economic agricultural production. Did every dollar we invested into the plant result in more than a dollar of return from the plant? What is the most economic level of inputs for maximum economic return? It's not about how to break the grain bins. It's about dollars. It's about profit. And profit may not mean necessarily the maximum yield. And secondly, to minimize environmental impact. Did we use the right product at the right place? at the right rate, at the right time? Did we provide the best opportunity for the plant to utilize what we applied in such a manner that what we did apply is not available for unintended utilization or movement? Are we proactively taking initiative to ensure that the quality of the soil environment is available today and for future generations? Are we practicing solid environmental stewardship? Precision agriculture can be evaluated because it has two measurable criteria. Maximum economic production, minimal environmental impact. Precision agriculture is a process. It is not a single event. We take data about a piece of land. We decide what crop we would like to grow. We collect more data. We decide what inputs are going to be required, product, rate, location, and time. We deploy the plan, and we collect more data. More data leads to another decision. It is a process. It is a cyclic process a process that begins with data. From data we make decisions and produce plans. Plans require action and then that action produces more data. It is a continuous process. A process where data leads to decisions and every decision goes to a plan and action which we also call deployment. After we deploy it, it produces more data. The data then gets brought back into the decision-making process with new plans and new actions. It's a continuous process, a process that lasts throughout the year and beyond. It's not about one single event, but a continuous process. It's the three Ds. Data, decision, deployment, producing more data, another decision, and different deployment. It is precision agriculture, and precision agriculture has to operate within the systems of production agriculture. Production agriculture and precision agriculture are much more than just the agronomic producer. The agronomic producer cannot stand on his or her own today. Agronomic production agriculture is a system, a system with multiple agencies organizations, and individuals interacting. It's a team. It is a system that does not rest. A system with a heartbeat in continual activity. One of preparation, planting, nurturing, harvest, and evaluation. It's about specific location. It's about variability. It's about maximum economic production. It's about minimal environmental impact. It's about decision making. It's about management. It's precision agriculture. These have been my basic thoughts regarding precision agriculture. Please feel free to contact me if you'd like to discuss any of my thoughts regarding precision agriculture. If you would like to learn more about precision agriculture or would like advice in the implementation of precision agriculture, please contact Precision Strategy.
This presentation was provided by Precision Strategy Educational, a division of Precision Strategy, LLC. Thank you for your attendance.